Hey everyone, my name is Rune, and we are here. This is going to be number six of the GDL, the Galar Defenders League, and we're up against mid Pokemaster and his Alabama rollouts. And uh, this is going to be a really, really scary matchup, right? So there is a lot going on in this matchup that I'm going to try to manage as best as I can, but my biggest concern is not losing to the Urshifu. So I'm going to take a screenshot right now, but we see the Hippowdon, Gengar, uh, Rotom Wash, Arcanine, Dredagon and Urshifu. So right off the bat, uh, no Lilligant, no Inteleon. No Inteleon is interesting because it allows my... It allows um, me to outspeed a lot here. No Bronzong is reasonably huge. No Aromatisse. But yeah, a lot of things that I would have expected. Uh, the Dredagon was the biggest iffy one for me, but I think I, think I just have to lead off with my with my pre-marina now um my pre-marina is kind of an anti-lead right so obviously if the dredagon leads and try to set up rocks i can hit a moonblast if the hippowdon tries to lead off then then i kind of have to hit a hydro pump in order to try to oko in that situation but um but if it is like max special defense and calm then I actually don't KO it. So that's going to be a huge, huge problem if I'm not able to, to get that correctly. Or I could try to flip turn. So it's there's a lot going on in that first turn if he decides to lead off with that um, with that hip out on. Um, and whatever he wants to lead off with. I mean, Premier is probably the best anti-lead. Premier is going to be the key to me winning this match if I do win this matchup. But legitimately, like, half my team is dedicated to trying not to... I, I, I think... Okay, so I think he definitely... Knew that I wanted to leave Pre Marina, and that's why he let off with the Gengar. Um, and I'm gonna try to have to figure something out here. I really don't have anything that I would want to switch into this thing. I really kind of want to just take it, assume that I can take a hit and then flip turn out, but that's not great for me. That's not great for me. This is a fantastic lead on his part, genuinely, really great. Um, I mean, can I take a Gengar hit is the question, right? And I probably already took too much time trying to figure that out, but... Um... I really don't want... Uh, I don't know, let's see... It's, yeah, man, I don't even take it from a Scarfed Gengar, let alone m many other variants. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna have to go into this thing. Um, this is, I mean... Sandslash is kind of the six month. It, I mean, it is also like one of my prime Urshifu switches in, but um, at the same time, I really don't. Okay, interesting, interesting. So is kind of fearing the scarf a little bit, but goes into the Rotom. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, part of me just wants to get a Brox, but I honestly don't want to do that. As at the same time, um. I can try to go into this, but this is going to be super important for, for me to have a chance at winning this. I can also go into this thing. I think I will. I think I definitely will do that. Uh, this is going to, I mean, honestly, this is going to be one of my first times actually using my, my Dragon type as a Dragon type switch in to things. But uh, having the Drake result in here, I know, um, yeah, there are very few things to want to switch into it. Obviously, the, the, the Powdown coming in is probably worst case scenario. Um, but I think I can manage it. I think I can manage it decently well. And also, uh, fun fact, my Sand Slash does not have ra Rapid Spin this week. I don't have Rapid Spin on, I don't have removal on this uh, team in general. But I thought just getting up my own layers would be so much more important in this matchup than, than really most other kind of ways that I would want to play this match out. Um, because, I don't know, I, part of me just felt like uh, going the most hyper-offensive route would be optimal for me. I really don't see myself uh, doing that much switching, especially if I can um, maneuver a, a few things the way that I want in this situation. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, at this point, I would, would kind of have to force him to, to defog, which, um, at this point, I don't mind the most. Obviously, Rotom can come in here. Rotom's going to be not great, but... Uh, I will be always able to kind of mess with him and, me and 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 kind of get something out of this exchange, right? So if he takes me out, 
um, if 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 he takes me out, then that's fine. But um, there's the will o -Wisp. But I I think I end this exchange with something to my name in terms of in terms of um, hazards on the field. But my goal here is just kind of you know win the hazard war and kind of um, get more out of hazards than than he will out of this entire thing. Um, and. I don't know. So once I go down, so th so this is clearly some kind of a defensive one. Oh yeah, and and, and he clearly expected my Drake all the want to want to come in here, as well. Uh, it's honestly not not the worst thing in the world. Um, I'm trying to think of how to how best to manage that. Because it, I mean, it honestly makes me think that this is a really defensive Rotom, and if it is, then obviously you know Drake all can't exactly Oko. But. Does that open the door for... Oh, this is... Jesus Christ. I'm looking at Rotom... Wash. Uh, so let me see here. Actually, Drake Azul should still be able to KO. Um, I could also... I'm really feeling just going into Primarina here. I could just go in a, Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. For sure, for sure. This is gonna... This is gonna allow me a lot. Now, obviously, I could just raw power whip into this, but I don't think I want to. I think, if anything, um... The best situation would would, would be to just... Tr because, okay, so... I know that... I know the way that mid plays a decent amount, right? And, and he's a very... He's a very momentum-based player, and, and he tr and he makes a lot of like hard reads and things. So, um, I think this is a, a play that I'm okay making right now. Um, and I might take rough skin and rocky helmet, but I mean, at this point, what am I gonna do? Yeah, there's the rocky helmet as well. At this point, like, wh what am I gonna do about it? Right? It was always going to be an issue no matter what I did. So, I mean, I honestly really just want to go into... I honestly really just want to go into... Actually, hmm. Let me think this through. Let me think this through. No, I think I have to just do this for, for, for now. Now, here's another opportunity where I could flip turn if I really expect the Gengar to want to come in. And I kind of do kind of expect the Gengar to want to come in, honestly. Um, he did switch out last time we did, we, we had this exchange. But he could have expected me to be Scarfed and fast enough. I should say Timid Scarf. I'm, I'm modded Scarf, so I don't know how to beat the Gengar. But he could have he could have expected me to be like super aggressively Scarfed. Um, I really like flip turn as a play here. But at the same time, I don't know. Moonblast just gets me a lot in this exchange. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to click flip turn here. I don't know. Yeah, okay. So, I definitely overread something there. I could have taken this thing out for sure. And I'm taking a lot of unnecessary damage, but... But... Yeah, I don't know. That was just me me overthinking that play, I think, for sure, for sure. Um, I really should have just clicked Moonblast. But then that, that, that I was in the Gengar, and then I never have a re really solid answer to the Gengar, so... Um, I could just pull this button. We'll see. We'll see what happens in this situation. Because, at this point, the biggest thing would be... It goes for the glare. Um, at this point, the biggest thing would be to see it... Um... If the hazards... Allow for any... Any, um... Any 2 KOs that I wouldn't have normally been able to achieve. Um... It's gonna be tough, though. I can try to wear down the team a decent amount, but it's always going to be tough. There's the body slam and the para. 
Uh, I mean, honestly, I can see like a Dragon Tail, and that could really hurt me a lot. Dragon Claw, yeah. Ugh, there was no universe on which I was a good play. I should have just clicked Moonblast. I really should have just clicked Moonblast. However... No, this is still my play. That's so much offensive pressure just gone from just a really bad non moon last play. That was not a read that I had to make. I don't know. Actually, wait. Does my Gengar... Or, sorry. Does my Premier... No, okay. That's fine. Um... I think I'm at the point where Skull just KOs it, right? Just a max HP Dredagon? No, I'm not. I mean, Hydro Pump might, but regardless, this Moonblast is, is going to allow in the Gengar, and that's going to be even worse for me. That's going to be even worse for me, I think. Um, how do I manage this? How do I manage this? So it's it's honestly still not even impossible for me to win this one. It's just a lot more difficult. Um, Primarina on its own just puts on so much offensive pressure, and and if this Gengar goes down, then the matchup looks kind of nutty. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure some things out. Primarily, uh, the biggest thing to figure out is kind of how there goes the Rotom, which is also interesting. Because, yeah, I'm in range. I'm, I'm almost definitely in range. Even if this is super defensive, I think I'm in range. Yeah. And this would bait in the Gengar. Which I think I have to let happen at this point, right? Because, I mean, it'd be the same thing as if he just brought in the Gengar naturally. And then, and then, and then I sack off the Premier anyway. So I just have to be okay with it at this point. Um, but then, right? I think the biggest thing that I have to figure out here... It does, I mean, he could bring in the Arcanine, but I don't know what that would get him, really. I don't know. I don't know. Arcanine, I guess, makes sense. If anything, Arcanine coming in... Yeah, yeah, no, this makes a lot more sense. This makes a lot more sense. So, I think... I think after my Serena goes down... I think after the Serena goes down, what I sh what I should do. This thing's almost definitely scarfed. Um. I really want to click this button, and I think I might just have to do that, knowing that this thing is scarfed. Knowing that this thing is scarfed. I'm um, yeah. And then yeah, there's gonna be obvious issues. But this will at least allow me to punch holes in the team, and then if if there's anything that's gonna allow me to kind of make things happen with make things happen with um, oh, he also has to fear the Sucker Punch, theoretically. Um, but, man, I, I, sh I should have brought Sucker Punch, honestly. But he does fear it enough that he switches out. So it does allow the, the G-Max Fireball. Um, but this will allow me to knuckle up as well. I'd be curious to know if he kind of, um... Switch, tries to switch around this. 
But at this point, yeah, I just have to kind of punch holes where I can at this point. Um, I can get a couple of knuckles off. Hopefully. And just get my damage where wherever the heck I can get it. Um, but this does not look like a terribly winnable match at this point. Primarina... Primarina can do it, but the Gengar is such a huge, huge issue. That I just don't know how to overcome at this point. And there's the Toxic, okay. Now, I'd be... I Okay, so... Again, like I was saying, I I I do think that mid would be would be kind of the type of person that would um bring in the Gengar to, to deny me another knuckle here. So I kind of do want a fireball. I don't know if this is a bad play. I guess we'll find out. But I think if anybody here would do that, make that play, I think it would be mid. Um, but no, just lets me get off another fireball. So yeah, there's the morning sun. And at this point, I mean, at this point, I can I can kind of spam Super Fang for a bit until I don't know. This thing could have Protect for all I know, but I can just click Super Fang for a few turns um, to at least keep the Arcanine low enough. But. It, the Gengar just becomes too difficult. There's the Teleport. And now that he knows that I don't have... Well, he he still doesn't know that I don't have Sucker Punch, right? Um, my last move is U-Turn, but it should be Sucker Punch. And he still doesn't know that that I can't beat the Gengar right now. I guess. Even though it should be mildly obvious, but, you know, who knows. And this is a moderately easy... Super Fang again. Just to keep this thing low. Even though I will go down to this, which does suck. Although, I don't know. Th this could force a... Yeah, I think this is fine for now. I think... I think... Um, it's it's going to mean more chip damage, but if it means I'm getting another strong hit off from the center race, then I think it might ultimately be okay. But it's... Yeah, goes for the Stone Edge. I mean, that's ultimately gonna be. That was a crit. Okay, that's that was neat. Okay. Um. And at this point, I mean, there's really not much to do. We kind of just have to either take some hits and yeah, try to manage whatever wants to come in. Gengar comes in. I'm, I might honestly give him HP on this pain split. When I very, I came so close to expecting that and clicking dark. Yeah, I gave him HP. I came really, really close to tickling dark pulse, and I, oh my god. Okay. Okay. I I came so close to just clicking dark pulse on that turn, and if I got this Gengar out of the way, then. Mm, That's just really frustrating. I don't know. I don't know how to how else to put that. I don't know how else to put that. But I think I, I mean I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Weezing never takes out Gengar from that range, but it was at, at around half, right? <sighs> That's such an embarrassing way to. Yeah, Dark Falls does around half at at. At minimum so I think I think he's just gonna bring in the Arcanine here and what okay yeah now I just super lose I mean that I I mean first of all it's not scarfed which is nuts to me it's not scarfed but and also it didn't fear the, the Sucker Punch at all. Which... I... Don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, I guess it's Specs, which is fine. Uh, 
Yeah. A bunch of misreads. I don't know what I, I don't know what to say about that really, but um But yeah, there were a lot of mistakes made. Um I played really badly around the uh, around the Dardagon. I did not um I didn't play the There were so many turns where I just overpredicted. I should have uh I definitely should have just hit what was in front of me more than I did. But uh Yeah, like I said, I was just trying to not lose to to the Urshifu and trying to position myself good well enough that I that, that was never going to be a possibility, but um But yeah, some of those turns were just embarrassing. Like that was not a great way to lose. Uh I definitely don't mind losing, but that was not a way that I'd like to lose. And yeah, I think really what started off was me not just hitting the Dragon that was that was in front of me. That would have been an easy KO and that spread around so much damage. It spread it gave unnecessary damage to, to the Primarina. It gave it gave unnecessary damage to, to the Weezing coming in, and it ultimately made me give up my Drake assault. So if I mean if that turn never happens, then I've so then I have a decent amount of momentum coming in. Obviously, it allows in the Gengar, and I didn't like being being put in the position to having to pick a sack to Gengar. But ultimately, I just had to pick a sack to Gengar, and there was no excuse for me playing it the way that I did. It was just not good I, and i and the fact that i didn't have proper switches into to, to gengar really hurt me but at the same time i mean that's not an excuse to, to kind of play the way that i did in in those scenarios trying not to lose to gengar but uh, i guess that's gonna be it for this week thank you guys so much for watching way back really really soon with more weeks of the gtl as well as more weeks of the abl and uh something else coming up really really soon but with that thank you guys so much for watching everyone's again out